Hi, everyone, and welcome to our Thursday Night Rock and Pour collaboration. I'm kicking off right now. I'll be followed by Lori Houston Art at 645, and then finishing up the night will be Angela Bliss at 7. Hi, everyone. It's Louise with Louise McCare, and I'm back to do a clock face today. And this is, I don't know, about 8 inches in diameter, and it's a pour over because I've had bad luck. I've had bad luck with my results. So I've got the back taped up. You can see I've poured, poured it a couple times. And um, there's actually a few divots in here, but that's okay. It'll be covered up when the paint gets on it. And if I resin it, it'll all be covered up. So what I have are uh, my combination of pearl, which is the golden. And in this case, the Amsterdam pearl, white. I have some Prussian blue from Arteza. I have a combination here of, I think it started out with uh, Amster uh, Arteza's Sky Blue, and then I added some Blue Eyes to it. And this is a combination of uh, Fandango from Prison Pour and, um, ooh, what was that? Ooh, got something in there. And um, Pebio Iridescent Green. I hope I got it. This is Arteza's Pearl Sea Green with TLP's Sea Glass. And I think that's that. So I've got three cell activators over here, all with Australian Flow Draw. I've got white, the black, and a golden, which is a combination of rich gold and some Atelier uh, rich gold. Here are the two paints for that gold cell activator. Uh, but that's Australian Floetrol. And I've got, for my black that I'm going to put over the top of it, is Amsterdam's Oxide Black mixed with the same pouring medium that I mixed for these guys, which is uh, three parts Valspar and one part Josanya. So that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to put down my pillow paint, which is my multi-pro. I'm going to do the Jessica Winterstrom attempt again. And I've probably shown by now a few different attempts, but I've used the Sherwin-Williams tricorn. I've since learned that that is not the right thing to put on the top. So I'm switching, switching teams, and I'm using the Amsterdam. Okay, so let me get the pillow down, and I'll be down in a second. So I'm really hoping I can get this figured out. Really hoping. Let's stop right there. Give it a quick spin. Stretch it out. Get it moving. That looks pretty good. Okay, so we're there we go. So now, I'm going to start laying down the colors. First, what I've got here is the iridescent pearl. And I'm going to lay it kind of in a circle because this is a circle. I know when Jessica does it, she lays it um, left to right on her rectangle. But since I have a circle I'm trying to cover, I'm going to put it down from the center. All right, everyone, I'm gonna pick up the pace here. This is a 35 minute video. I've got to somehow cut down into 13 minutes. So I'm just laying down the colors here. The first color is the pearl combination. I'll list everything in the description. This one is the Arteza's uh, sea green, pearl sea green. And the next color after that is my combination of Pebio iridescent green and Prism Pores Fandango. And then a color that I put down after that will be a combination of blue that I think started out as Arteza's mm, sky blue. And I'm just laying them all down in a circle, drizzling them kind of like as much as I can, like I do with my coasters, just drizzling the colors over the each other and from the center. And that last color there is Arteza's Prussian Blue.
phase one, phase two, now phase three, which is the black, which hopefully I can lay it down in one swoop. So what I'm pouring out there is Amsterdam's oxide black mixed with my regular pouring medium. Okay, so there we go, we got that. Now, so one, underneath two, three, and now phase four. Palette knives, I'm gonna use my little guy. Let's just mix them all up. Here's my consistency. It just kind of goes straight back into the container. Well, this is behaving very differently. There's a lot of bubbles in there, but nothing's happening yet. Not like what you've seen before. Oh, I spoke too soon. Okay, so let's, let's put the gold down first. Throw down some white. Add some black. I hope you were able to see that. Okay. Okay. There is so many bubbles coming up. Oh, this is, oh. Okay. Very, very, very different. Oh my gosh. I might be getting it. Don't speak too soon. Stay modest. Do I want to do another swipe or do I want to just keep it simple? So throughout this, I spent a lot of time just observing and I probably have cut out five minutes just in watching it. This, I gotta pop this. Look at that, unbelievable. really like this but I think I need to do something down here maybe in there in the interest of time I'm going to race through the loading of the palette knife same order the gold the white and then the black and then I'll be back in a second Now let's see what we can do over here. So as I'm watching this back, I'm noting that I'm kind of being a big baby about getting into that pillow a little bit. I don't want to go too deep and I'm trying to get to the colors, but I don't know if I'm going deep enough. Look at this. I picked up some blue from underneath. I need to try to find the color. some color. I found the blue. So in between here I've cut out a couple minutes just observing. I've got a lot of good color underneath. Where is it?
So everyone, at this point, I'm already 11 minutes in. I've got to do a lot of skipping and fast forwarding as we go forward. Interesting, interesting. I'm gonna stop with that. So let me uh, break this edge. I'm hoping that when it spreads, the colors from underneath will pop through or something. Let's see what we get. Very, very different reaction. Gentle spin. So at this point, it's just a matter of spreading it out. So I'm gonna do a lot of skipping and cutting here and there, but you'll get to the end without missing anything. What a difference that black makes. And this is crazy, but I'm leaving it. I don't know if I have enough off. I'm not familiar enough with this. I'm gonna give it a little more spinning because I don't know. I don't know how much more paint I need to get off. So much better. I'm leaving it. Oh my gosh, I love it. So different. So different. I sure would like to see more color, though, come through from underneath. I mean, I've got all these pretty colors under there. Hmm. One more spin. Please, just stretch. Ah, see? I still have more paint to come off. Yep. Good thing I gave it another spin. Oh, colors are coming out now. Yeah. No. I just don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I wonder how far out my color got. See the blue showing up here. Quite a different result. I'm gonna turn off the camera and I'll get you a flyover. So everyone, that's a wrap. I haven't resined it yet, so I just have the still shot from the creation. And here are some close-ups to it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit the bell and all, you'll get all my latest tutorials. A comment and a thumbs up would be nice too. So I guess the big learning here is the difference between the tricorn and the oxide black and that the tricorn lets a lot more of the color through versus the oxide black. So we're not done with this or the pearling bloom by a long shot. But in the meantime, let's stay tuned for Lori Houston Art coming up next and following her, Angela Bliss Art at 7. Thanks.